Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day and a new huge update just dropped for MCC. So let's get right into it. Okay, so here we are on MCC and it's been quite a while since I really kind of put a lot of time into this game. And yeah, so a whole new update just dropped. Literally... The biggest major part about this update is Flood Firefight in my opinion, but they actually added a lot more than that. They were able to bring in campaign crossplay uh, between Xbox and PC. It's only for Halo 3 and Halo 3 ODST currently, but the fact that we actually finally got crossplay for it is absolutely huge. Another feature they added was um, being able to actually use your customization stuff, your cosmetics, or whatever you want to call them, your skins, in uh, Halo 4, so that's an option. Uh, we have it in Halo CE as well, but uh, they've added it to Halo 4 now, so you can see your skins for your stuff. Now, I think another massive part about this update is that they also added the rest of the games to the custom game browser, because before we only had Halo 3, Reach, I believe, Halo 3, Reach, and CE, and that's all we had. So they added the rest to the uh, custom game browser. So if we look here, we might find some uh, other ones. So here we go. Look, we got Halo 4. So Halo 4 has been added. H2A, which is really awesome because I feel like H2A had a lot of cool Forge maps. And unfortunately, we weren't able to, uh, you know, really play it. But now we can. Uh, it's going to add a lot more. You know, we also got Halo 2, as you can see here. But now, let's go ahead and get into what I think is the best part of the update, which is Flood Firefight. So let's go ahead and just go into matchmaking here. And uh, as you can see here, we actually got like the mode here has its own little custom symbol, which is pretty cool. Alright, so here we are. We got last exit. And as you can see, they've made quite an improvement to the, the Flood Firefight mode. Um, if you guys want to see like, kind of like compare versions, I did make a video on it back then when Flood Firefight released um, in, during the flights and yeah it's got in like a major major overhaul I would say dude this map is like absolutely perfect for this with the fog because I mean this was like already a, uh, like a place that was getting attacked by the Covenant right and so like all the buildings and everything is destroyed uh, you know the skybox is kind of like all what's the proper proper word or term it's all like in flame, you know. If that makes any sense. It's a bunch of like smoke and ash and stuff. So adding the fog and of course the flood, it makes it a lot more immersive and it's really cool. It really is. Alright, so we're on a different map and the reason we're on a different map is because it's kind of cool seeing how all of them are affected by the fog. But also because we actually have allies, as you can see. We have NPCs here or AI, whatever you want to call them. And so yeah, it's really cool, they could help you out. I think it's only two of them. Let's find out here. Whoa, what the hell? I think it's only two guys. I wish it would uh, spawn more, but by the looks of it, I don't think you get too many allies. Um, I don't know, I'd have to experiment more with the uh, mode here. So yeah, it's pretty cool. You could also like swap uh, weapons with them now. Because I don't think you were able to before, at least in Halo Reach. I mean, in ODST before there wasn't even any allies uh, but in Halo Reach on a DLC map which was I think installation 04 or something um, you were actually able to have allies on that one but you weren't able to switch weapons with them I believe so I think they fixed that and you're able to switch weapons now with them but yeah man I mean I'm gonna say I think Halo 3 ODST has the best firefight um, this just adds so much more to it I think it's pretty insane this just kind of certifies it as the best firefight. I wish they would update the Reach one, though. I feel like they should add more stuff to that. So they also made weapons like the Sentinel Beam and, of course, like the Energy Sword and also the Gravity Hammer. You're actually able to, like, wield those. Um, you can actually use them and kill enemies with them uh, before you weren't allowed to, which, I don't know, it was kind of just like a thing back then. You weren't really allowed to use those weapons. Um, Sentinels didn't even exist in Halo 3 ODST. You, like, never saw them, I believe. So look at me now. I'm using the freaking Sentinel Beam. Dude, this thing's so OP. It's a fun weapon to use. I mean, it's a freaking laser. What is there not to like? You just freaking melt those suckers. Look at that. 
So here we are with the energy sword. So I wanted to show you guys the energy sword. Look at this. It looks kind of funny. Um, you could actually see our like little fingertips there. <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty funny. It's kind of weird, honestly, but it does make sense. Um, you know, we should we should be able to uh, to use the freaking energy sword. I mean, as long as we don't cut ourselves, right? I'm pretty sure Odysseus could definitely use it. Um, but yeah, you know, we've got the same animations, as you can see. And I also mentioned that the gravity hammer wasn't usable, but I just realized that it actually kind of was always, uh, or not kind of, it always was, you were able to use it. Um, at least to my knowledge. It was just the energy sword and the sentinel beam that you couldn't uh, use, as well as the BR, of course. Can they survive the flood spores? <laughs> He's just trying to kick him. What is he doing? He's just <laughs> no, I'll help you out. Oh god, what I do? No, you guys killed my friend. Oh my god. No, he's become one of them. I'm sorry. Oh god, he's gonna kill me. What the hell's going on? Yo, what the heck is this guy doing over here? He's just like standing there, just staring at me. What the heck? What is he doing? <laughs> He's just standing there. Did he take my sword? I think he took my sword. I'm not even gonna lie. Wait a minute. Is that the infected me? Oh my goodness. Holy moly. Dude, he almost stabbed me. I am somehow reanimating. So that is the dead me. Um, and I guess to keep your weapon with whatever you uh, died with. Oh my gosh. Oh god, what the hell. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look-see here. Wow, look at that. So you could see that you're actually able to uh, become infected. Um, also, I'll go ahead and show like the animation because I think it's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, you can become infected now, which is really sweet. So if you're like teammates or something die, uh, yeah, you better watch out. That's for sure. Yo, what the? F Did I just get runned over by a freaking ghost? What? <laughs> So another thing is that the Flood actually can use uh, vehicles, as you can see, kind of like Halo 2. So I think in Halo 3 they never really used vehicles, which was kind of a weird change. But uh, yeah, they brought it back in uh, this mode, and look at that. <laughs> They're driving ghosts. Sometimes you can, uh, they sometimes like drive a Warthog. I don't know if we'll be able to see one here, but uh, if we do, you know, I'll, like, I'll go ahead and like show you guys. But it, it's pretty impressive, man. This is like, this is awesome. Can I hijack him? Oh, look at that. We hijacked him. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, my goodness. What is this guy doing? Oh, God. <laughs> what the hell? Dude, these guys are relentless. They don't leave me alone. <laughs> oh, God. He's going to splatter me. Wait, let me get the sword. Let me get the sword. Oh, gosh. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to survive this. Oh, no. Yo, let me in. Why, <laughs> Why couldn't I go in? 